Hey guys, it's Azor here, back with another video over here in Rise of the Kings. So guys, today I found out something cool. Well, actually the day before yesterday, but I, I covered it in a video and then I deleted the video by mistake. So I'm going to remake the video now and I'm just going to talk a little bit about the heroes in the game and how they keep updating and keep getting better. So there's two new heroes I want to cover. Well, three, actually there's three. So we got this guy right here. He does 2.84% of attack damage dealt by War Machine. And it's a good hero for War Machine because, as you know, the first meta in the game, if you're like a veteran player or a very old player of Rise of the Kings or you just have great knowledge and information, um, War Machines were the best, right? Like, we all used to do War Machines. And then it became Infantry. Infantry, I started that about like a year and a half ago. And a lot of people just like started doing infantry and it was amazing it was amazing for attack and defense you know instead of like putting a whole bunch stacking a whole bunch of other stuff without a lot of infantry it was a bad idea so the meta was over for war machines and it became infantry and soon guys soon guys soon it's gonna be archer but before i get into why it will be archer Let's go ahead and talk about the dodge hero that they implemented in the game. This ghost guy increases your dodge by 31%. Now, that is ridiculous amount of stats. So let's go ahead and briefly just look at if there's any... Look at this. Cavalry has a 12% to dodge incoming damage, guys. Let's just be realistic here, guys. Let's just mess around with this a little bit. Let's unlock the ghost, right? 31% at 12% to that, possibly. That's about 43, 45-ish percent, roughly around there in the 40s, especially if you upgrade the ghost, guys. Wow. That is a lot of chance to dodge with cavalry, guys. A lot of chance that is simply amazing okay let's just let's just throw that out there now let's go ahead and discuss one thing that I, one thing I said about archers is that they're gonna be the best gonna be new meta soon now I haven't seen Rosie King do advertisement over YouTube yet probably in a couple of years or like a year they will and that's when the game will get really interesting. They'll probably all allow kingdom jumping. They'll probably, you know, do a lot more, make it easier for people to level up. This is, this is a lot more, bring more people to the game. Um, the game is getting like COK or Game of War where Archers were dominant. And before I show you the hero, let's just, let's just show you the hero for Archers. Okay. Now, this wasn't always here, this Archer here on top. You see Archer attack plus 10%, increase Archer damage by 10%. So, that wasn't always there. That's like 2018, you know. It wasn't there 2017, 2016, you know. We had to play around with different kind of formulas. So, now that Archers have, you know, Lin, increase your Archer damage by 13%. 0.34% for mine because mine is a high level, level 60. But they have another one. Hey guys, let's just talk about the potential for archers in the future because I want to show you the new heroes and the new buffs and the new ways they work these formulas out to make you want to attack or focus on different combos increases archer attack by 2.72 percent and covers the arrows with lethal toxins dealing an extra 0.15 percent damage of the target's maximum hp for every 1000 archers guys dealing a extra 0.15 damage of the target's maximum HP. Guys, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. You need about 7 to 10k archers to deal 1% of the target's maximum HP. If you're good at math, I just briefly like to sum it all up for you guys. 1% of the target's maximum HP. If you do a full march skilled handing, 
with the skill hit and you have the archer avatar which is 10 percent archer attack plus 10 percent increased archer attack was 20 percent plus this and lin and archer attributes and archer actually um and attributes for equipment and focus on full archer uh, at um focus on full jewels for our um archer on equipment oh my gosh guys oh my gosh now before we took we, we say okay you know archers is going to be dominant in the next year or in a year and a half and rise of the kings and it's gonna everybody's gonna be doing it, it might become meta just just understand one thing to get this hero is going to cost you a little bit of money because it is a yellow hero it's not going to be easy you know even people struggle trying to get dolan still and dolan's been around for a long time so you will be have to be a spender to get that if you are a spender and you get lucky getting that hip hip parade for you because you're going to dominate your server just off because you got the archer and let's just highlight one more thing the infantry which is everybody tries to rush for with dragon blood is about 3400 so if we go up here well i got a whole bunch of dragon block of use but i could buy this now if you go up here it's only 3000 so the archer is cheap the archer is very cheap guys so all you have to do is get that hero guys and early game skill hitting you you will be a monster guys so metal people will start noticing this meta soon especially if they spread the word or see this video it's going to be ridiculous hitting somebody with that much attack power you know now the only thing to probably stop that is if people get you know focus on infantry early and still tr try to defend against that met um that new meta that might be coming in. And if infantry stays around for the next two years, they'll probably try to throw throw some more war machine heroes in, some more arch archers to kind of debunk that, you know. So, I just wanted to briefly sum that up for you guys and let you guys know I've been around since Kingdom twenty six. Shout out to Kingdom twenty six, um, Kingdom 140, 140, Kingdom two nine two, Kingdom one twenty two. Shout out to you guys, Kingdom eighty one and Kingdom seventy four. Now, guys, this uh, just spread the awareness for the Archer guys. If they keep, we will see the next update if they actually do anything different to the infantry, which I highly doubt it. They will. I think that they'll keep focusing on archers because as the years progress, they want people to hit harder. And um, shout out to uh to those guys in the what, what kingdom is that? The seven million power guys and the uh, five million power guys. Uh, Killer Mass and oh, you guys are crazy. You guys are insane. You zero to yourselves. You guys had like almost one billion power. You guys are insane. Shout out to you guys for for doing that. And um, I think you was probably trying to focus on getting a whole bunch of these guys over here probably you guys were super strong you're probably the strongest players in the game and i think you guys are trying to kill your units to get these guys right here these storm horror level seven guys right here to your, your legendary five casters shout out to you guys man having a bunch of uh, like almost a billion power and zeroing yourselves probably trying to focus on getting the strongest unit and their stats um, let's go. Let's briefly go over the stats right here. Now I know that most players say they probably are not gonna be the strongest as a full march, but if a player does get a full march, don't underestimate it. Don't underestimate it because it's it's really it's gonna be strong. Okay, so they probably won't say some players probably say okay, having a full march of these won't. It's not better than having a full march with unit, uh, infantry or something with stats. Now these stats are triple or probably double the max for infantry. Let's go briefly look at the max for infantry. Now, as you see here, it's double for attack. Look at the HP, 784, 787, I think. Yeah, 787. But the attack is double. Now, you probably say, okay, so it's only it's double. Well, double is like having 100% more. You know, guys, let's be realistic. If you have double the attack of infantry, that's like that's one hundred percent more. So the, the the jewels wouldn't really make a matter. But that's not the best part about it. This is a great initial attack damage, defense, and HP. Now, when you see great initial, that's about 
25% to 50%, probably even 100%, depending on the, it's probably not 100%, but it's a, it's a big increase, okay? While defending against an attack, 5% of the damage to storm elementals will be rebound back to attackers. So that's a basically increase in attack damage, guys. All right? Re rebound damage cannot exceed total storm elementals HP of 20% of the attacker's HP. That's an insane uh, statistic, uh, stat right there. During an attack, storm elementals would deal normally with an additional 5% of their total attack damage spread evenly among all defensive units. Now, guys, now, if you attack with these guys, it's AoE. They're hitting everything. If you have a million, two million, three million, it doesn't matter, guys. This is the strongest unit of the game. You not need jewels. You not need any equipment. Because attacking with these guys is AoE. Now, if you play an MMORPG and you play a mage or something like that and you do a thunder skill, it hits everything around you. Now, instead of an infantry hitting one unit at a time, this guy hits all 1 million units. Whatever you have in your castle, one of them hits everything. That's pretty insane. Let's read it again. I'm going to show you this AoE. During an attack, so basically you're attacking. Imagine you're having a full march of these guys. Storm ele elementals will deal normally with an additional 5% of their attack. Additional 5% of their attack. So 5% of their attack damage spread evenly among all the primary defensive units. So any defensive unit, uh, possibly. But... It, None of the units, maybe the defensive units is two as attack unit and defensive. Maybe that's what it means. All the defense ones, they do attack evenly to all of them. Or they could mean just because you're attacking and the castle is on defense, it does damage everything because you're on you're attacking a, a person that's gonna defend against your attack. But it could go it, either way, it's still a great skill. So this additional damage is unaffected by units defense. Woo! Guys. That's like having penetration. So if Killer Mass, the Legendary Fives, uh, some of the strongest players in the game, zeroed all everything in their castle, it's probably to create this ultimate beast right here. This is insane. Now, this right here, this unit matches like almost anything in any other game. Now, Game of War has dragons and super strong stuff, but this is probably where players are trying to go for. And it took years to develop that because I haven't seen nobody with a full march yet or heard about it. You know, so thanks for watching the video, guys. Um, that's it. That's it for today. This is Zor, man. Um, love you guys. Love ROK and every other game. Keep following me and uh, watch my content, man. Hope you like and enjoy it. Like and subscribe. Peace.